Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So yes, it's that time again, time to take up another champion. And in this video, we're gonna be taking up two six-star champions to rank three. So you got two guesses. If you think you can guess who the two champions I'm gonna take up to rank three are, leave a comment below. But we're about to reveal it in five. Four, three, two, one. All right. First one is Falcon. So, as you can see, my Falcon is not awakened yet. I have three generic awakening gems. So, if I want to awaken him, I can. But I wanted to wait and see if I could awaken him naturally before I took him up. But Battlegrounds is going to be coming uh, later on today, all right? And although I usually try to wait for a week before I jump in, I remember during the last season, there were people that brought uh, Falcon in and he wrecked some of the more difficult defenders that I had put up. And I'm like, okay. That's right, he shuts down a lot of things. Now I have the five star and I'm like, man, I, I didn't want to take him up unawakened, but his awakened ability is not that essential, but it does help a lot. And I do want him awakened and I do want to uh, give him some Sig Stones, all right? Um, but he answers a lot, like Korg. He answers Korg. If they put up a Korg, I'll counter it with a Falcon. Boom. And that's what happened to me. You know, so a lot of the difficult defenders go down with Falcon. So that's why I decided to uh, take Falcon up right now. And I was short of resources. I had two other uh, champions that I was going to take up. But I started thinking and I'm like, you know what? I kind of want him. It's a long time coming, and he's actually really good, um, especially in Battlegrounds. So I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to take him up now, and I'll take up one of the other two that I was going to take up. Because, of course, taking this guy up from one to three used up my uh, resources. And let me tell you, I had to do some uh, finagling uh, to get the resources to not only take him up, but also to take up the other champion that I'm going to be taking up. I had, I, I ran out of T2 alphas. And so I ended up getting pretty much all that I could in the glory store. Then I went over to the catalyst store and actually bought up just enough so that I could take up another, because you know, I'm short on, uh, units and I'm not opening my battle chips uh, for units right now, but I'm short on units because we just had that greater banquet crystal and you know, we just had the cyber weekend. So I'm in recuperating mode, you know? Uh, so anyway, um, Falcon's uh, awakened ability is a good one to have and it gives him a lot more damage the higher you give the SIG. I don't know where his sweet spot is, but I'm thinking, just reading it, I'm thinking that I would love to have him at really SIG 200. I think he would be a beast at SIG 200. Um, but anyway, so that is why I took up Falcon to rank three. Now, the next champion that I decided to take up to rank three was Ebony Maw. So the history with Ebony Maw, when he first came into the game, awful. No one liked him. Wet noodle, all that good stuff. And it was well-deserved. He was horrible. Then later, Kabam announced that they were going to be making some changes and, you know, buffing him. And I'm like, okay, Kabam has a good track record. 
of buffing champions. You know, not all of them are, you know, stellar out of the, you know, out, you know, they don't always hit them out of the park. Um, but they usually are much better than they were. So I took my Ebony Maw to rank two. When the buff came out, he was definitely much better. But at the time, the resources were a little bit scarce. And it wasn't a buff that made me feel like I should invest these resources into him. So I said, all right, we'll leave him at rank two. But then Battlegrounds came into the contest. And now, for Battlegrounds especially, you want him rank three, you want to have his SIG up because his SIG level puts out that more degen, and he's actually not a bad champion anymore. So a lot of people have taken him up to rank uh, three, and I think I heard of people taking him to rank four as well. So definitely um, not a bad rank up, and he's also not that bad on uh, offense. Not like I'm going to just take him, you know, uh, over some other champions that I have. But he is pretty good. He's pretty good um, offensively. So, like, in Battlegrounds, you can have him on offense or defense. Usually it's going to be defense. But you could have him on offense. All right. So that's it for the rank up portion. And I'm going to go in and we'll we'll do like maybe just one fight with Falcon and then uh, one fight with Ebony Maw. And uh, just kind of see what, what they look like fighting Winter Soldier. See my girl standing right up there in the front? What's up? Hey, Valkyrie. But anyway, this is not about Valkyrie. This is about Falcon. So let me show you the synergies that I have on this guy here. Of course, as soon as I saw that he had a synergy with Valkyrie, she had to go on the team. That's it. But it is 3% more attack rating. All right. Then we've got this one here, Ant-Man, another 3% attack rating. And look at this. Ebony Maw gives him 9% attack rating. That's awesome because we just took up Ebony Maw and it'll make uh it'll make it easier to do the um next gameplay because I also combined it why'd I go out there I don't know with some um synergies for Ebony Maw so as you can see here the first one is with um I, I added um cull and when the fight starts gain a true damage buff allowing attacks to bypass uh, armor and resistances for 30 seconds, so that's more damage. And check this one out here. Charging a heavy for 0.5 seconds grants the opponent, the opponent, an indefinite fury buff, increasing their attack by 0%. Now, you might say, why in the world would you want to do that? Well, because, uh, not Cull, Ebony Maw does degen based on your buffs. So you're giving him a buff that doesn't help him. It only helps you. That's pretty much the bottom line. So that's going to be interesting when we, we get there. All right. So first fight. Let's do some Winter Soldier. And I might just go on to um, Captain Marvel and do that one with uh, Ebony Maw. All right. So I'm going to hold this. He's locked on. Didn't get a lot of crits there, though. And I think the biggest thing for him... See, the locked on is gone. And I didn't even do, like, 20%. Of course, I don't really use this guy, so I don't know. I might be doing something uh, wrong, but, you know, we finally got 20% damage. Come on. 
Okay, so we got the uh, incinerate on him. Okay, so now there we go. Locked on again. Fire off that special one. Hmm. I'm too busy looking at the numbers. But the numbers are pretty good. So maybe that's the key. Do the um, specials. Oh, no, you don't. I'm watching you now. All right, let's do this. All right, locked on. Hit him with a special two. Woo, that was some good damage. And then let's hit him with a special one. Okay. Every time I look over there to the um, numbers, I'm trying to look at the numbers, he hits me. But yeah, those, okay, so that's what I need to do. I need to do that when I have locked on. So I can do this then. Okay. Hit him again with another one. Okay. Not terrible, but it'll be good for Battlegrounds. Because the biggest reason to have this guy, and see, having him awaken with Sigs will improve his damage. Hmm. That's a nice 27k crit, though. Okay. So, decent, decent. But, of course, with my recoil masteries, his damage is a little bit more than it normally would be. All right, let's do this. And he has um, class advantage. All right, I don't remember how to do all of this, but first we're going to do a heavy attack. Okay. Okay. And I must have read that wrong because I tried to give her the fury. All right, now approaching falter, let her hit into me. All right, she missed. Good, good. And see, all that's putting some degen on her. Okay, let's uh, hit it with the special two. Yeah, that. Look, look at the damage that he's doing compared to what I was doing with Falcon. <laughs> All right, let's do a special one. All right, see, I nullified it and I have all my missions complete now. Yes, he has missions. That's what I was trying to remember. All right, let's, there we go. Let her hit into me a little bit. Get that D-Gen. Now I'm gonna hit uh, special three. But I can see that the crits went up. Once I um, got all the missions done, he's doing more damage. Hush, puppy. But yeah, he's, I, I like him. I do like him. I always liked uh, Ebony Maw for the smooth animation because he just feels so smooth to play. Woo, that was ugly. Um, he just feels so smooth to play, you know? So like I said, he's good on offense as well as defense, all right? Sorry about all these pop-ups. It seems like soon as I'm recording, that's when they get the most active. <laughs> but anyway, that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. What do you think about my rank ups? How do you think they're gonna do in Battlegrounds? Take care, and you all have a blessed day.